Hello friends, this is uh, Shriram Shastri and you're watching my channel Control Your Emotions. Today I'm back with uh, another plant called Rixia, Rixia belonging to Bryophyte. So these plants are non-vascular thalloid plants. So presently what you are seeing, okay, this, this, this is a thalloid structure of these plants if you watch it here, okay. So they measure about three centimeter, up to three centimeter in diameter. Circular rosette growth of thalloid structures you can observe. So these plants are usually found in the regions where water is very high and moisture content is very high. They are called as uh, what do you call as amphibians of plant kingdom because uh, they require water for their sexual reproduction. They release their gametes into the water and uh, you only during the monsoons you can spot them along with some moss going around with them you can see this is moss again they are also bryophytes so along with the moss they are going out here so these close up of this thalysis thalysis is a bit difficult yeah these are some of the other thalloid structures so they don't have any differentiated root system they have uh, rhizoids uh, flattened the thallus so this thallus they, they belong to liverworts okay so they belong to phylum bryophyta and uh, class of liverworts or hepatic opsida okay this is a very good example so in puc first year you will be studying about bryophytes and plant kingdom and uh, this is a very live and good example of it okay so most of the people might have spotted it but they don't uh, usually try to observe it when they see it okay because they're very small in size so we at once do not seem to observe such plants okay but this is a video in which you can watch them and uh, with your uh, text reference you can see the structure of thallus very good quality of thallus you can see here and many uh, large amount of rixia are going here they belong to mercantia lay okay so uh, green the thallus the upper surface of the thallus is green colored it contains chlorophyll and the lower surface is pale very thin thalloid structures in the lower side they have rhizoids which absorb the nutrients from the surface okay so they partially live on land but they require for for sexual reproduction they require water so they are also called as the amphibians of the plant kingdom so that's all for today please don't forget to subscribe my channel for such wonderful videos thank you see you in the next video